I wanted to go over really quickly something that um, several of you missed on the quiz, and it has something to do with word problems, specifically word problems that require us to use parentheses in them, otherwise we get the wrong answer. So let's say I had the problem, uh, if the sum, which means adding, the sum of twice a number and negative 14 is multiplied by 2, then the result is 12 greater than the opposite of that number. So we have to just take this um, one small part at a time. Let's just make sure we got this right. If the sum of twice a number and negative 14 is multiplied by 2, then the result is 12 greater than the opposite of the number. Let's start with this, the sum of twice a number and negative 14. So it would be 2 times a number and negative 14. So we are going to subtract neg um, 14 from twice a number. Then we want to multiply that by 2. Here's where the problem comes in. You cannot, I'm going to write the wrong way over here. If you have the sum of twice a number and negative 14, and you want to multiply this by 2, you cannot simply write it like that. Because here's what happens. Then I have um, some people doing this, taking and doing this multiplication first, because that's what PEM, PEM does, tells us to do, right? To do the multiplication first. And that would give us 2n minus 28. However, that's wrong. Here's why it's wrong. When you have the sum of twice a number and negative 14, we have to put that in parentheses because that has to stay together. This is the sum. Once you add them, which in fact we're going to subtract it here, once you do that, that is, becomes one number, and that one number needs to be multiplied by 2, not just the 14 part. When you write it like this, just the 14 part gets multiplied by 2, and this 2n is left out, so we cannot do that. So we have to remember the sum of twice a number and negative 14. Write it down, then put it in parentheses, and then we're going to multiply that by 2. It says the result, then, is 12 greater than the opposite of that number. So it's going to be 12 more than negative n. Let's go ahead and um, figure this out, then. So doing the distributive property, we do 2 times 2n, which would be 4n minus 28. So we do get a, a minus 28, like over here, but if you don't put the parentheses in, you have just 2n when it's supposed to be 4n. That 2 also has to multiply, be multiplied by this 2n. And that equals 12 minus n. We add an n to each side, we get 5n. We're going to add 28 to each side. 5n equals 40, which means that n equals 8. So that's how you go ahead and solve those. Remember to put the parentheses in so that the multiplication is distributed.